and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a well requested video for you guys and it's going to be my Buzz Launcher walkthrough. After my once on my phone video I had a lot of you guys ask me to do a Buzz Launcher tutorial so that's what I have for you guys today. I didn't want to make this too long of a video so I did break it up into four parts so make sure you stay till the end of the video to make sure you guys see all the parts. For those of you who don't know Buzz Launcher is an app that you can add onto your phone that will completely redesign your phone. You can customize your icons, widgets, and literally everything that's on your home screen. Make sure you guys head on down to the comments and let me know if there's anything specific that you want to see in this series. And make sure you subscribe so you can see every single time I upload a video. And that way you can keep your phones looking top notch. Let's get into the video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! This is what some of your phones may start off looking like with the regular touch with launcher that comes with your Samsung phone. What you guys are going to do to install, you're just going to go to the Play Store. You're going to download Buzz Launcher. I would also suggest downloading the Buzz Widget app and the UCCW app. These are widget apps which is going to help you design some of the widgets that come with your themes. Once your launcher is installed, you're just going to open it up. It's going to give you a few suggested themes that you can use to start your phone off. So you can just pick whatever one you like. For some of you, it may go as far as this. You may be able to pick one of these themes and just keep that on your phone and leave it how it is. But in this series, I'm going to go through some ways that you can customize your phone and basically make your own theme. So we're just going to download any one for now just to get started. So they do force you to download one of these before you can, you know, get started with your own theme. Here's the theme here, just automatically downloads everything for you, all the different screens, and it will prompt you for some of the gestures that you can use. What you're gonna do is, depending on the theme you get, a lot of them have a home pack shortcut. So this is gonna take you to basically the Home Buzz website, which has all the themes here for you. When you first get into the home pack, you're gonna see a lot of different themes that you can choose from. It may be a bit overwhelming because literally there are thousands and thousands of themes. So you can use the toolbar here to uh, guide you with what you're looking for. So you can go to collections and this is basically um, groups of styles that are pretty similar. The one I usually look for is the glass style because I prefer pretty minimalistic um, launchers. The first step you're going to make is choosing one of these themes. Now my suggestion in choosing these themes is to make sure you choose something that has the least amount of work. So what I mean by that is when you do choose a theme, make sure that you like the icons, make sure you like the clock, maybe you like the indicator for the battery or the music player, whatever widget's most important to you, whatever icons are most important to you, try to make sure you find a theme that you already like. That way you're not gonna have to change too much of this to make it your own. Basically, I'm going to make my launcher from scratch for you guys. And I started off by downloading this theme here. So when I came across the steam, I like the icons, I like that they're minimal, I also like the, the date and the time widget. I went ahead and I chose this theme. You're just going to hit download. Now this option is going to come up for you. So when it says replace all, if you click this option and download the theme, it's going to replace the original theme that you have on the phone already. If you just want to add on to the theme and maybe keep some of the pages from your first theme and then keep some of the pages from this new theme, you're going to hit add on. But for right now, I'm just going to completely erase the old theme, so I'm going to hit replace all. And then you just have to wait for it to download and basically do its thing. So you're going to get to this page here, you can basically get a preview of what it might look like and then you're just going to hit apply theme. So once your theme is applied, it's going to come up here. So you can see it looks exactly like what it said it would look like. 